Top left hand side as you're facing the stage, my right hand side, thank you. Excuse me, could I just have the agents for a very quick word, please, uh, just by the side of the stage, very quick word. Ladies and gentlemen, please can the candidates for the Hoban and St Pancras, Hoban and St Pancras constituency come up to the stage for the declaration of the results uh, by Councillor Cotton, the returning officer. Thank you. Declaration of the result of the poll for the Hoban and St Pancras constituency. I, Councillor Richard Cotton, the returning officer at the election held on Thursday the 8th of June 2017, do hereby give notice that the number of votes cast for each candidate at the election is 134. Sean Rebecca Berry, the Green Party, 1,980. Stephen Crosher, Liberal Democrats, 4,020. Giles Game, UK Independence Party, UKIP, 727. Janus, Janus Palencius, English Democrats putting England first, 93. <laughs> Keir Starmer, Labour Party, 41,000. The number and I hereby declare that Keir Starmer has yeah. been duly elected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, clearly, the rest of the, uh, the national picture is still unfolding. There is a, a vast amount that will be determined in coming days, whatever the overall outcome looks like. And I hope that you will continue to participate in that process as Democrats, as active participants in the political system, whatever it is that you believe in. Thank you very much. Declaration of the result of the poll for the Hampstead and Kilburn constituency. I, Councillor Richard Cotton, being the returning officer at the election held on Thursday, the 8th of June 2017, do hereby give notice that the number of votes cast for each candidate at the election is as follows Kirsty Roberta Allen. Oh, sorry. 
Liberal Democrats, 4,100. Hugh Lawrence Easterbrook, Independent, 136. Claire Louise Leyland, the Conservative Party candidate, 18,904. John Mansouk, the Green Party, 742. Tulip Siddiq, Labour Party, 34,000. Rainbow George Vice, Independent, 61. The number of ballot papers rejected was as follows. No official mark, zero. Voting for more than one candidate, 37. Writing or mark by which voter can be identified, five. Unmarked or void for uncertainty, 123. Total rejected votes, 165, and I thereby declare that Tulip Siddiq has been duly elected. Whichever party you're from. And for this election, my greatest honour has been being on a ballot paper with three women on the ballot paper. Oh, yes. it, it shows the character, it shows the character of the constituency that I'm so proud to represent in Westminster that the three main leading parties had three female candidates standing in our constituency. And it is the constituency that for 26 years has elected a woman, a female MP. I'll also give one shout out to Rainbow George because it's his last election this time. Turning to my team, I'd like to thank my agent, Peter Tahiri. I'd like to thank Jay, Elliot, Sienna, Nanda, Mary, Adam and Anne. I'd like to thank Catherine Bly and the thousands of volunteers who ran through fields of wheat across London and across the country to campaign for me. And a special mention to Hoban and St Pancras and to my friend Keir Starmer who has been elected today with an overwhelming majority. Keir, us in the Labour Party have high hopes for you as we watch you handle the Brexit negotiations. I hope you will deliver for us. I'd like to thank all the councillors across the country, especially in Camden and Brent, who campaigned for me. A special shout out to Georgia Gold, another female council leader here in Camden. And I'd like to thank Councillor Parvez Ahmed from Brent Council for giving up all his time in this election. And I'd like to thank the entire spectrum of the Labour Party who came out to campaign and other organisations such as Best for Britain, Camden for Europe, More United, Open Britain and the Progressive Alliance. And thank you, a special thank you to all those Lib Dem and Green voters who lent me their vote for this election. I won't let you down. Mama and the whole Bengali community, especially our community from Silat, for doing all their work for me. And to the Jewish community, 
can I say something to the Jewish community? I know there are issues that we need to work through. And moving forward, I will be working with you on those issues in Parliament and across the country. Can I thank our local papers and our local blogs? And a special shout out to Richard Osley, who gave us such com comprehensive coverage of the election. And of course, I'm going to end on three quick ones because I know everyone's getting impatient. I'd like to thank Ammuji, Ma, Bhaiya, Rupi, and Azalea for their unconditional support. That's my family. Can I thank my strong and stable husband, Chris, who's yeah. standing by me? And the final person to thank, more than anyone else, this victory, this time, goes to Oliver Denton. Yeah. One final thing. When you, when you elected me the first time around, Hanson Kilburn, I said I would be a strong, independent voice in Parliament, and I reiterate that today. I will be Hampstead and Kilburn's voice in Westminster, not Westminster's voice in Hampstead and Kilburn. Thank you. Let's all stand back a little bit. Wait, 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 wait a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's get, let's get, get a bit. Let's all move back a bit, shall we? Will everybody move back slightly, please? Right. Then. I took inspiration from me. Okay, guys, we'll here. Come on, big cheers. Yay! Yay! You need to do better. Come on. Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>